Hi y'all, this is Allison. Welcome to the Mighty Bujo. Today we have a brand new one. My old superhero is full and it's going to get me through the rest of October, but there's no way for November. Before I even migrate into this, I am going to go ahead and start setting up my November pages. And I'm actually very nervous because I am not an artist like I said before. But I'm going to uh, jump into the deep end and try and create my cover page. I'm nerve wrecking. I've got post-its in here for what I plan to do, but nothing has been written in here yet. So I'm going to break my new one in by trying to draw a November cover art. Um, we're going to see how this goes. I. I I'm cringing. I, I'm terrified I'm about to ruin my brand new bullet journal, but you know what? I, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to dive right in. I found a site that I'm going to follow along, and I'm going to try to dry, draw a version of this turkey. Um, it is from Cartooning for Kids Academy. So I will have the link down in the description box. Hopefully this is going to work. I'm also going to be flipping the image because I want my turkey looking the opposite way. Um, originally I was just going to go for it with watercolors, but I think I might try to at least sketch out a tiny bit of a outline first. I have no idea. I no idea what this is gonna let's just go for it we'll see what happens right <sighs> wish me luck The first thing I do have to say is this site was very good on giving you guidelines and instructing you on how to do it. So it may have been, you know, intended for kids, but it, it worked for me. It, as you see my hand going over to the left side of the screen, that's where I'm pausing and watching again what, they, what they're telling you to do. So definitely go check out the website if you're wanting some, you know, simple drawing instructions. It was Drawing for Kids, and it's the number four is the name of the channel. And this was How to Draw a Turkey, Art for Beginners. And I am definitely, definitely a beginner. I have no artistic skills whatsoever especially when it comes to trying to draw with a pen or a pencil but it was actually once I got the hang of it and got in the groove it was really fun to do I, I will admit it took me about four starts before I felt confident to just you know see it through to the end so it was uh, yeah my, my little turkey I'm quite proud of the little guy now but at the time I was doing this, I kept thinking through my head, what in the world are you trying to do? And having the camera going, I was so nervous. Now you are also about to see my complete and utter lack of skill when it comes to watercolors. I really put my journal to the test. I went really, really heavy with the water. And, um, you know what it, it's all good right my pages actually held up to it I can't believe it and I figure if I just keep going and keep watching videos maybe one day I'll get the hang of this 
so, but you're about to see me really saturate this page. And uh, there's going to be quite a few mistakes. Here's one main mistake. A turkey's head, I realized later, is actually red, not brown. I was like, oops. And that's when I was like, uh, something doesn't look right. this corrected and you know at this point it's everything's going pretty well I'm feeling you know getting a little over my nervousness and feeling better about it and it, it's all about to start just going downhill it becomes like a train wreck my card filled up on me and I had to stop filming and you know download it so I could keep going and I swear I felt like my camera was giving me a timeout. Just tell me, just go away and think about what you were doing because I could see the mistakes being made, but I just couldn't stop myself. Um, I don't know if you noticed it. It flew by at a flash, but I got the paint on the feather too close to his head and it made all the red ink or the red paint rather from his head bleed onto the feathers and it looked like somebody shot my poor turkey and it was just bleeding all over the place it was yeah <sighs> okay so it dried and then I realized no the feathers are supposed to be the same color as the body so I try to fix it and my solution to fixing it was let's just put more and more water all over the place so yeah you're gonna see a common theme here my solution to everything was more water, that'll fix it. You can see the water starting to drip towards his leg and I had to tilt the page up to keep it from bleeding into the areas. Finally it dried and now I switched over to, I'm trying to do a pilgrim's hat. Again, I found another site online in YouTube and this one is from Doodle Draw Art and it's how to an easy pilgrim hat step by step for Thanksgiving. This one was easy to do and uh, go check that one out if you're looking for some simple you know, reference. In this third one, that I'm about to do is a cornucopia and again this is another one I had to flip the image because I wanted it facing in so I found this one at art for kids hub awesome website if you're just wanting to you know learn some basic beginner art skills uh, it's a man and a kid drawing side by side and he's explaining to the child how to draw and so I just kind of joined in with him and I was really happy with how this one came out. It came out a lot easier than I expected it. I think by this time I had kind of finally gotten over the feeling of being watched by the camera and knowing that people were going to see my fumbling around with all of this stuff and just kind of let it go and I was just like, mm, I'll see what happens. It's helped me quite a few times to get things right, though. Like I said before, I will uh, link 
all three of these sites in the description box if anybody else wants to go check them out. And here we go. I'm going to add more water to my poor turkey. And I'm going to drown the poor little guy. He's just, you know, November is a rough month for turkeys. And my little guy, yeah. Uh, I put him through quite a lot. But he turned out so cute. And by now I've started to learn a little that I don't want to paint connecting areas until they dry. So I, I'm starting to pick on things and then I forget again. And now my pumpkin starts to bleed into that leaf. But this time I think I actually remember and only paint areas that are you know, next to something that's dry or has no paint. I'm finally learning that that little technique, I guess. And more water for the turkey. Oh, and I'm using one of those Pentel uh, water pens. And yeah, yeah, that's it. I'll blame the pen. Uh, I'm just not used to knowing how hard to squeeze it, how much water to release. I wish I could blame the pen. It's not the pen. It's me. Completely me. But that's okay. give y'all an idea on how long I worked on this I actually had I think a little over four hours of footage of just trying to draw these three things out and trying to paint them and that does not include the dry time in between so yeah not an artist but I think they turned out really good so you know what that's okay I'll, I'll continue to fumble my way through Maybe I'll uh, ask for some art lessons for Christmas, because it is fun to do. I love watching something come together, whether, I, you know, it's, I like to do needlepoint and watching it just, an image come out of nothing. The same with, you know, drawing these or trying to play with the, the colored pencils or the paints or markers. There's just something really satisfying about it. And look at me, I'm getting all fancy. I added shadows. So 
something I wouldn't have even thought to do until I started watching other people's bullet journals. Okay, we're about to get a little bit of a, a wrench thrown in the system. Maybe not a wrench, but a little bit of a diversion. Because all of a sudden, I start hearing something behind me. And it's my puppy. Are you happy? So that was Sasha, isn't she pretty? She uh, came up to join me, like I'm up in my game room and that's just an extra bed that we didn't have anywhere else to put in the house. So went in there and my daughter started putting her extra stuffed animals and it's kind of become a catch-all. So Sasha came up to visit me and she gets through these little phases and blankets annoy her. So she was trying to make the bed comfy. Now my pictures are starting to come together. Adding the black lines just make all the difference. Even my waterlogged turkey turned out really cute. And I was really quite shocked at how well this cornucopia turned out. I was just like, whoa. So, like I said, if you're looking for some drawing techniques or, you know, just you know, starting out with it and want to try your hand at it, definitely check out the Art for Kids Hub. It's a, it's a really fun site. It's fun watching him, and I assume it's his son drawing side by side. It's a really cute, uh, well done site. Now on my drop shadow, I'm keeping all of those lines on the right side and on the underside of all the letters, and that gives you a consistent drop. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, the rest of my November setup, since this was quite long, I broke it into two, so be sure and check out my November playlist and you'll see all my spreads for November so here's where I started out but I'm gonna leave y'all here I hope you enjoyed my fumbling attempts with art and have little encourage somebody else to give it a try that's not really artistic anyway leave me a comment I hope you enjoyed this I do have more mandala and spreads coming up so be sure and subscribe and I'll check y'all later Bye.